going on, good people? Today, Fat Daddy is in the kitchen, and we gonna cook up some beef brisket, baby. Beef brisket, baby. All right. Don't worry about that. Get rid of that right there. joke over and see what it do. So this right here, you want to leave that on there. Put some of this back over in here. That needs to come off. Yeah, so that's all we doing right now, baby. And of course, I ain't no expert on this. I'm just feeling around, seeing what look right, seeing what don't look right. All right, so we got this, and we're going to move on over to the next one. All right, so now that I didn't got it all trimmed up pretty good to my liking, I'm happy with it, whatever, whatever, you know. So this is a big piece of fat right here that sits on the top. And what I like to do is just take and cut some slits right in there like that. To me, what that does, lets all the seasonings and everything get down to this fat a lot easier. You know, you ain't gotta cut a whole bunch of slits in it or whatever. It just kind of opens it up for the seasonings to get in there, you know? So that's what I do. You know about everybody else, but that's what I do. Then the next step, let's throw that mustard. Yeah, so that's a big fat piece of fat right there, boy. Just like in all my other videos, that mustard is just that binder. So that when I put the rub on it, it's got a better surface for all that rub and all that goodness to stick to it. Get all nice and mustard up, baby. Same process for both of them, right? Hit them with the mustard. Hit them with some seasoning. Hit them with some rub, you know. All right, so now that we done got them both all rubbed up and mustard up, time to get that smoke ready, baby. Time to put some smoke on them. Alright baby, it's hot. I'm trying to get these uh get this smoke up the temp. Get it up to like 250. So get that joke up to like 250. Then we're gonna throw those uh briskets on there. I'm also doing some other stuff over here with John Wesley. Anyway, 
we uh, get these smokers up to temp, throw this brisket on there, these two briskets, and then uh, we'll see what it do. So it's 12 midnight. Let's take this off. Smoker. This one will actually get a look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's butter, baby. That's all butter right there. So what we're gonna do, you see fat daddy died. What we're gonna do is wrap it back up and let it sit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw it in this oven right here. The oven ain't on, but I'm gonna just throw it in there and just let it sit. Instead of putting it in a cooler or something, just let it sit here. So that's brisket number one. Just put it in a Put it in the oven, but you see what time it is, Jack. So now I'm gonna uh, check the temperature on this other one. Make sure it gets up to uh, 202, 205. Then I'm gonna uh, put this one in, put that one in the oven too. Just let it sit there for a while and just uh, let all those juices get sucked back up into it. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen. We back in the kitchen. Brisket number two. And it's looking good. It's looking real good. Nice and tender, man. Oh my God. Nice and tender. Nice and nice and tender. So we're gonna do the same thing. Joke on the bottom shelf in the oven. Anyway, so the process was I put them on my uh, fat boy smoker out there. For probably about five hours. I smoked them for about five hours. I was making some uh, ribs. So I made some uh, some baby back ribs at the same time. And I was cooking these. But then after I got done with the ribs and my electric smokers by John Wesley and uh, Joe Lewis, I put the brisket into some aluminum pans and I put them on in my electric smokers. So then I let them be in that electric smoker for maybe six hours, maybe six hours, something like that. Anyway, today was nice and tender. Basically today reached temp, right? So 205, 202, 205, uh, real nice, tender, nice and juicy. So I'm gonna let them rest in these pans in the oven. The oven is not on, it's just letting it rest in there, let it, uh, you know, slowly come down, um, sl slowly cool down, you know, in its own little juice and everything. Then we'll cut them up later on and uh, see what it do. That day. All right, so we got it all cooked up. 
rest it up. What we're gonna do now? Oh yeah. Oh man. That is so good right there. We're gonna take this Joker. Put it over here so we can start processing it. Do we? So these briskets have been cooked. Everything is all good and delicious. Everything is all done. It's nine o'clock in the morning now. Oh Lord. Well, I started around what two? I just like around one. I started preparing everything, but everything is all done. I cooked two briskets. Everything is all bagged up and I vacuum sealed some. But then I prepared some for um something that's gonna happen in, in a day or so. But I'll be working, so I had to cook it early. Anyway, uh, now it's time to deal with all these dishes over here. Oh, Lord, somebody come help me. Yeah, it's time to do some house cleaning. You got to do these floors and everything. And clean up all these dishes over here. And make this house look more presentable. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all can go ahead and like it and subscribe to it. Hey, I seen this on another video, so I'm gonna do it on mine too. Like and subscribe if it helped you out in any kind of way. You know what I'm talking about?